Hi, this is Karthik. I welcome you all for this session. This session, I'm going to teach you uh, basic formulas in Microsoft Excel 2010. The topic is basic formulas in Microsoft Excel 2010. Let me see one by one. So, using this presentation, we are going to discuss about just the basic formulas in Microsoft Excel 2010, such as sum, average, count, maximum, and minimum. So what is a formula? With Excel 2010, you can create a simple or complex formulas using the built-in calculators or formula palettes. So using 2010, you can either use a simple or complex formula. How? This simple or complex formula or built-ins, calculators or formula palettes, it's very simple to use. I'll show you a demo later. Each formula contains one or more functions and each functions perform calculation by using specific values right so each formula contains one or more functions and uh, function performs calculations by using specific values called arguments in a particular order uh, everybody know whenever you want to call a function you want to pass the arguments or parameters then only the function will be called for example if some function add the values in a range of cells the argument can be number or text or logical values such as true or false and so on so so you can use the sum function by passing the corresponding arguments or values the values can be numbers text or logical values uh, such as true or false and so on so where you can able to see this is called as the formula tab where we will be having insert function auto sum recently used and financial logical uh, text date and time lookup recent lookup and reference uh, so max and trigonometry and more functions so we can able to use these kinds of functions using formula tab so this is called as a formula bar where we are going to apply all the formulas all formulas will start with the symbol called as equal to the excel starts calculating from left to right according to the following order of operations right so whenever you perform a calculation in Excel keep in mind the calculation starts from left to right right so first order symbol is parenthesis and second one is a negative number if used with one opponent and third one is percentage and fourth one is exponential and fifth one is multiplication and division and next one is addition and subtraction and next one is connect two text values to produce one values and next comes your comparison operators equal to less than less than or equal to greater than greater than or equal to not equal to now when you click the insert function if you go for select a category you can able to see most recently used all and financial date and time max and technometry function statistical function lookup and reference databases text and logical and information engineering cube and compatibility right so these are the things we can able to select from a category right so I will show you an example so so here I opened a Microsoft Excel 2010 so here after next to the page layout tab we can able to see the formula tab you just click the formula tab where you can able to see the insert function so this is called as an formula palette so where you can able to select the function or else you can type the function let us say max press enter the function will be sorted here you can able to see select a category it's a recommended most recently used all financial date and time max trigonometry statistical look at reference database text logical information engineering cube and compatibility so these are the various option we can use in categories let me see one by one so once again I repeat so how to reach this place here go to home here this is called as a formula bar you just click this FX as a formula so the screen will appear or else uh, go to formula bar and insert function so these are the two ways you can use this function once again I repeat go to home tab 
so near to your formula bar here's the fx symbol you just click it you can able to find the insert function or else go to formulas and click insert function where you can able to find the same dialog box as it is okay so now well, so here you want to give the search for a function if you type sum or average for example if I want to find sum yes you can able to find or else for example if I want to find average you type it will come the average when you click this function it will take to the arguments so as I said this is a category of functions most recently used or financial and blah 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 and let me see the first function sum function right so what is the use of sum function sum number one and number two dot 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 so you can able to add so odd all numbers in the range of the cells right so how to do this so I will teach you so if you want to perform an add here I'll be having a table or column starting with uh, serial number subject and marks I'm going to add all the max I'm going to find out the total for this max how to do this here I want to display it just click it and go to insert function and you type your sum and click it and press OK and where you want to specify the range of cell right so that is f5 to f9 so range of cell and press ok so now you can able to find the total once again I repeat so just click this and insert function type for the function sum and press ok then here you want to select the range you just select the range and press ok now you can able to find out the total and next comes average the same just select it insert function you type average you type okay sorry uh, just go to insert function and type average and press ok and you want to find the average for this right you want to select the range press ok so the average is 89.6 and you want to count number of subjects how to count this again go to insert function you type count okay and values from where to where you want to count is just with the values and press ok enter so the number of value is 5 so now if you want to find what is the maximum value among these 5 values how to do this we will be having a function called as maximum so just like insert function go to maximum right type max and press ok so you want to specify the range and press ok now we can able to see the maximum is 99 and how to find the minimum you just click it same go to insert function and you type min and press ok once again you want to specify the values you just select the value and press ok now we can able to find the minimum right so once again I repeat some function so <coughs> here you want to specify the range and press ok so now the sum will be here you can able to find out the sum and next average so average so syntax is equal to average number one comma number two uh, comma dot 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 description return the average the arithmetic mean of its arguments which can be a number or names arrays or reference that contain numbers how to work this so here is the formula bar is the average is equal to you want to specify the range then where you can able to find out the average and count syntax is equal to count of number one comma number two dot 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 you can able to find infinity description count the number of cells in a range that contains a number so here is a syntax equal to count of you want to specify the range here you want to give the range and press ok where you can able to find out the count and next comes your maximum whenever you want to find the maximum in a particular range of cell you use the function maximum syntax is max uh, number one comma number two comma dot 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 
and description return the largest value in the set of values and ignore logical value and text right so it will uh, work only on numbers it will ignore logical values in text okay so how to use this here the function is is, um, is equal to max of you want to specify the range and once you press enter we are able to see the maximum and next comes your minimum function right so in case of minimum how to find out the minimum if you want to find out the least value in a range of cells or range of value use the function I mean syntax is, is equal to min of number one comma number two dot 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 description written the smallest number in a set of values and ignore logical values and text so this can work only between numbers it will ignore logical values and text how to use this so here's the function as a min of you want to specify the range and press ok where you can able to find the minimum value i think you may enjoy this video thanks for watching this video thank you